Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Rich. Today we are on Skyrim Adventures. And uh, honestly, I don't even know what episode this is, but today we're going to continue exploring Skyrim and just doing a whole bunch of random stuff. Because um, we finished the College of Winterhold, the Dark Brotherhood, and the Thieves Guild for the most part. The main quest set is. Before we go on though, I wanted to look at a couple statistics. So, these are the statistics that I have. So I'll just let you guys take a little look at this. If you want, you can pause it or whatever else you want to do. And then, uh, oh, my bad. And so we'll go down to most gold carried. Go down here. All right, sweet. From the top to the bottom, all the way to barters. We've increased 1,500 skills. It's pretty insane. 201 training sessions. All right, and then... Well, we've had 13 different diseases, but yeah, the reason we have 21 Intimidations is because Intimidation is the fastest way to level up speech. Moving on to Quest Completed, 96, Miscellaneous 141, Main and Side Quests, so forth. The Companions we haven't started, but as you guys can see, we've done quite a few of the other quests. And there's 15 Danger Quests. Combat. People killed, animals killed. <laughs> killed... Um, double the people have animals. That's crazy. Undead? Okay. The glass sword obviously being our favorite. Alrighty. Oh, we have more bunny slaughtered than Brawl's one. Close wounds restoration because we've been using it with a combination of our sword and we have learned 85 spells. And then fine, not finally, but we made 346 magic items just by enchanting all those items to get our enchanting up. And the reason we have 881 weapons made is because of all the daggers we've made. And then armor uh, is jewelry. So I don't know why, but jewelry counts as armor, which I guess makes sense. And then lastly is crime. So <laughs> last time we checked this these statistics, I don't even think we had a thousand lifetime bounty, and now we have 10,000. A lot can happen. No horse is stolen, but we may steal a horse in this episode, depending on how much time we have and where we go. Just to show you guys where we are on the map, we are just south of Anselvund. I think that's where we ended off, so we're hopefully going to go obtain the ore sample from Thilnar. Um, and also potentially go down here to Blackbriar Lodge. I want to just discover all this southeast, southwest stuff. So, with these next episodes, I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. But these are hopefully going to be shorter, and I'm going to try and skip to only the best parts of the episodes, but I don't know. We'll see. Part of this playthrough, I want to also make sure I cover every area. Oh man, I missed. That's ten bunnies slaughtered now. Alright, we'll uh, see if there's anything significant out here. There's not. To Tolvald's Cave we go. Oh. Okay. We have Dwarven area here. Okay. Coin purse, gold ore. Oh, one piece of gold. Oh, okay. Holy cow. So, so doors opened up on both sides. Oh, you little yeah. Not only did he heal, he healed his entire health. Puck ass. Ah! I saw that arrow. Ooh! Get wrecked, homie. Hmm. Okay, um... Uh, we'll go there in a sec. I want to go over this way. Oh, uh, this will... Okay, they lead to the same place. You guys look on the map real quick. Yep, same place. And what do we have here? A hunter, huh? Anything significant in you? Nope. What a bummer that happened to you, man. These warmongers have quite a bit of health. And they they shields do a lot more than I think they should. Get out of here, homie. What you got? Ah oh, man. Nothing better than a slow motion kill cam to the ugliest enemy in the game. Next to spiders, of course. <laughs> and charges. Those things are nasty. Whoa, that was quite a bit of uh stuff that we got there. Yeah, get out of here, dude. 
mess me with that. Yeah, I'm not searching these egg sacks for nothing. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I spoke too soon, my friends. Looks like we do have spiders in here. That is unfortunate. Don't you dare heal, man. Don't you dare. Oh, to the gap. All right, let's see what we got going here. Yeah, I still don't have the camera on me. It's just the audio again. Perhaps this is better, though. I don't know. I feel like we've been here before. Maybe I'm wrong. This place is pretty big, though. My goodness. Look at all those enemies on... Look at, look at my map above me. Look at all those enemies. It's just an insane amount of enemies. Can't forget this chest hiding by the waterfall. I feel like waterfalls always have chests near them, so it's always a good idea to check them out. See what we got. Oh, man, that was so lame. It's all for the lock picking, my guys. Alright, what do we got? Down here is a spider. Hmm. Oh my gosh, no. Oh. And I cringed so hard when he jumped at me like that. It's like, who do you think you are, dude? Oh. Oh, yeah, we have a follower I forgot to tell you guys about. Um, she's from the College of Winterhold. She was actually my second wife, Braylena. Um, and she's a lot better than Jazargo will ever be. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care how popular Jazargo is. Jazargo was trash. And um, honestly, I was a little surprised when I killed him that the college wasn't like all butthurt about it. Because normally if you kill someone from a guild or a college, no matter where you are in the world, they just know. So you have to like go and make amends with the guild. But yeah, when I killed Jazargo, nothing happened to me. This glass sword does 286 base damage plus the other damages. Let me see if I can put anything into one-handed real quick. Might as well, right? Now how much damage does it do? 318, oh my gosh. Plus time and nice. We already know Ice Storm apparently. Battle of Red Mountain, we've already read that piece of garbage. Sack of gold, coin first. You scared me, Braylon. I thought you were some evil bitch. Tattered journal. Hearing every, hearing things in the darkness, every sound seems amplified. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, you know what? I think I know what this place is. I think this is like part of. Yeah, it's definitely part of the DLC. Okay, guys, so I just got back out of the cave. Um, we cleared it. It really, it wasn't anything special, so I think I, it's either going to be fast-forwarded or cut out completely. I don't think that it's even, it wasn't even that entertaining. It was just a bunch of those stupid Falmer, you know? Whoa. Temple needs a key, huh? Bummer, I was kind of hoping to get in there. Holy cow, these guys are dead. I wonder what happened. Imperial letter? Okay. We'll take uh, the ultimate healing potion. Uh, some crap went down here, it looks like. I'm gonna go up here and see if there's anything on these corpses. Shore stone, huh? Time to get that ore sample. Right up here. 
Don't go so... It's about time. Here you go. Tell half your that she... Poor Greenwall, eh? You're trespassing here. You'd better clear out. Yeah! Holy cow. Did not come here early game. Look at all these guys. That's a uh, autumn shade clearing. Who when a few days ago? If you have the guts to head into the Ratway and get my bow back, oh, I'll pay you. This is Draven's bow. That's it. I don't know how you got it back, and I don't. Here, this is all I can afford to give you as comp. No, 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 no. What? Station. Holy cow! You gave us some good stuff. Careful with those flames, unless you plan on torching something. We went from Vault's cave and we discovered Shore's Watchtower, Shore Stone, and Fort Greenwall, and Autumn Shade Clearing and Mary Parafarm. Nothing super significant about them, but we're going to go ahead and go to Blackbriar Lodge now. So, I'll see you guys when we get there. I'm going to straight up kill these guys. No, <laughs> never should have come here. Ooh. Ooh. Never should have come here. You shouldn't have messed with the Dragonborn, man. These guys do have good gold on them. Or so I thought. Here's the key, which we probably shouldn't have grabbed. In fact, I'm not going to grab the key. You can't drop keys? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that sucks. That would have been some easy lock picking leveling up. It's all upstairs, that's, that's why. Okay. Ah, Stone of Baron Zaya. So that's nice. Um, you know, I may be a little lost, but at least the theme that's playing is amazing. Oh, this this must be the uh, stash. 250 gold. <laughs> 250 gold. Yay! Oh, and then the Frost Identity Papers. Here they are. Now I'll tell you what we are going to do, guys. We're going to be... Oh my gosh, I even looted this chest earlier. How stupid is that? Okay, well, anyways, um, that's that. Now that we did all that, I think this guy's going to be waiting out here. Huh? So... <laughs> Might as well kill the chicken and get away with it. Here's Frost Snow. Return to Luis Latresh. We'll come back to Lost Prospect. Actually, nah. We're gonna go ahead and see what Lost Prospect Mine has to offer real quick on our way to that guy. Be careful. You need to be careful. I remember this place. Alright, so the Miner's Journal. Basically, I'll let you guys read it. I think I remember what this talks about, but there was promise of gold ore in this little dungeon, but all they found was nothing. And they dug and dug and dug and found nothing, and I think that um, he got impatient and in vain. So as you can see, Brelona, don't make me unrelenting foreshadow you. As you guys can see, there really is nothing. Okay. Hey, watch it. Okay. She's in the way, it's her turn. Idiot. Alright, anyways. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they dug quite a few different places. There's an ebony mace here. That's actually pretty rad. Be careful. No, you need to seriously get out of the way. Anyway, so yeah, that, that's actually really cool. There's an ebony mace here. We can make that, though, at the smith. We're level 100 in smithing. Anyways, the real treasure is actually up behind this waterfall, ironically. So, in order to do it, you just jump up on there, and then you come over here, and you go around here, and wow! There is gold ore up here. And a pickaxe, in case you want it. And uh, some skeletons. And shovels. But yeah, this is the gold ore that the prospect was hoping to mine. 
I'm not going to mine it though. We're already wealthy enough. We don't need it. But yeah, that's a fun little thing in this game. It, I don't know. It's, it's a nice little area. I think it has a really cool story behind it. We'll go ahead and leave now and finish delivering Frost. Here he is. Let's make the exchange. Now, wait a minute. No need to do anything drastic. Look, keep the horse, all right? Then we all walk away happy. No. Ah! Shoot, I'm gonna kill him. Hey! <laughs> so Frost is now ours, but uh, I don't want him. I want Shadowmere. So that's that. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and travel up to this little um, place now, so I'll see you when we get there. Oh shit. Last Vigil discovered. I know what this place is. Well, I'm glad we discovered it now because uh, we are going to come here eventually later on. This is where we fight the warrior. The, the level 80 Ebony Warrior, the Ebony Warrior is his full name, I guess. Yeah, he'll walk up to you once you reach level 80 and he'll be like, Hey, I ha have nothing better to do with my life, so I kill you or you kill me. Sounds good? And you're like, yeah, man, sounds like a fair deal to me. So, yeah, that was fun. Uh, I guess we're done with the south area. Let's go up north now. And, um, well... Yeah, let's go to Snowvale Sanctum and get all the areas on the edge of snow. I guess I want to do around the world and get all the circumferencing areas. And so that I want to discover every location that I know how to find in this game. Now, not necessarily every location is going to be covered in this playthrough, but a majority of them will be at least mentioned. So that's that. To the east here, well... Got a frost troll over here, picking his boogers. Oh, really? Dude, asshole. Just die. Oh, yeah, sweet. We got some ships out here. We're gonna come wreck his day. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> We're almost there. Alrighty. So, wreck of the winter war discovered. There's a bunch of slaughterfish everywhere, and it sounds like there are some enemies. <laughs> In this area. Be someone there? Yes, I am here. I want to see if you guys have any loot. Oh! The bandit chief has disappeared. To who knows where. But, at least we got to get that chest, right? So much easier to rob when you're dead. Yeah, I know, but you guys will never get to know that feeling. Let's see, is there anything else up here? Surfeit of Thieves, we've already gotten that. We'll go ahead and take those lockpicks. And an expert level chest, don't mind if I do. Bleak Coast Cave. Located right up here. We were just over here by Wreck of the Winter War, so now we're over here. Beautiful place. I love the northern part of Skyrim. Let's see if we got anything neat in here. There's Braylon. All right, fantastic. We'll go there in a sec. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. Okay. I remember this cave. Sort of. I don't remember a ton about it. A Khajiit and some gold. Lucy died rich, right? So you got them frost trolls. What is that? Yeah. Great sort of embers, no thanks. Ah! All right, up through here. Ah, more. So oh, get wrecked, boy. We'll go ahead and eat the cooked beef. Who knows how cooked it is after all of this? That a little sinker tour, nice. Is that everything? Sure is. Well, dang! Some of these short little caves. 
Okay, we've arrived at the wreck of the Pride of Tel Vos. Um, not even sure what the heck that is, but okay. Let's um, see if we can try and discover something here. What do we got? Oh, we got some enemies, alright. You have anything for us, my bandit thug friend? No, oh my gosh, what did we just grab? Gosh, you gotta be really careful with these guys. Yeah, you got this chest? Of course it. Is that? Oh, I thought it said master. I was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. What are you guys carrying in here? Um, yeah. Oh my. Almost everything there was amazing. Like, in terms of cell value. See someone, Brendan? What are you doing? Whatever. Okay. Anyways, continuing back into this ship area. Let's see if there's anything that. Oh, there's a chest. A waterlogged chest. Linen. Tinvani's journal. Okay, I'll let you guys read it. Okay. No lie. I definitely think you guys should take the time to read this one. Um, I think it's about their baby son that that dies, and it's a freaking heart wrenching book. Actually, it's one of the best books in Skyrim. I guess I could read it to you guys, but I don't know. I'm not going to, but that is personally one of my favorite books in the game. Now, the reason it's significant in the waterlogged chest is because you actually got to return the journal to somebody. Although, now, ain't this is because right. when you do grab the journal, it doesn't say, oh, like, go return it to someone. You have to go find the person in the game naturally. And I know I've returned it to them before, I just forgot who it was. So, probably gonna have to look it up and return it in a future episode, but we'll see. Anyways, I think that that is everything in significance. It looks like there's a standing stone out there, so I'm going to go ahead and make my way towards there, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, the Serpent Stone, after we kill this ice wraith. Let's see, the Serpent Stone. Those under the sound of the Serpent Stone can use a ranged paralyzing poison on opponents. Nah. Man, some of these standing stones just absolutely suck. Is there anything up on this little iceberg? Hold up. Let's see if there is. Wow, I totally thought we were going to die just now. That was a lucky, lucky <laughs> fall. This game has stunning moments, that's for sure. Wow. Okay, guys. Almost there, almost there, and... Look at this huge rock. Yves Grimoire's Tomb! Yeah, it looks like a horker and a wolf are fighting, and the horker won! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Okie dokie, well I guess let's go into East Grimoire's tomb. You know what guys, I think I'm actually going to save this for the next episode. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time to cover the whole thing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Adventures, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, my name is Brandon Ridge.